Hi, this is Jason from Rockland Technologies, and joining us today is John Thomas. How are you, John? Doing well, Jason. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Alpha Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 version 2, and we're going to be going over some of the differences between the version 2 and the previous version. So Jason, when I look online, the versions seem to have the same specifications. Can you tell me what exactly is the difference between the two? So that's a really good question. So the key difference between the original version and the version 2 is in the version 2, we've updated the chipset inside the Alpha tube. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi receiver that goes on the outside of the RV, and we have inside a brand new Atheros AR9271 chipset, which gets faster throughput speed than the previous version. So that really is the difference there. Um, the antenna, the router, everything else is the same, but this is going to be the model tube UNA with that Atheros chipset inside, making things a little bit faster. So to summarize, basically the new version has faster speeds? In most cases, but not all cases. So your throughput speed is going to be impacted by several factors, some of which we have no control over. That could be the speed of the ISP at your RV park. That could be how many people are on the network at the same time. If you've got a lot of people on a congested network, that's going to slow things down. But in many environments, because of the faster packet transfer allowed by this device with this new chipset, you are going to get those faster data speeds, better for streaming, better for online communication. Jason, many viewers are going to want to know, is this dual band? Uh, so it is not dual band, and that's another good question. So with the dual band, the FCC actually limits the power that this device can have. So simply put, dual band devices can't reach as far away. And our goal with the Alpha Wi-Fi Camp Pro system is to help you get coverage in places where you get weak signals. So we continue to go with a 2.4 gigahertz only design, but again, we've upgraded that chipset to get you the fastest possible speed that you can from a 2.4 gigahertz device. Now, we are working on a dual band solution Solution. We found some things that we can do within the FCC guidelines that will allow us to eventually have a dual band solution, but we're still going to be quite some time off from that. So we recommend for summertime travel the Wi Fi Camp Pro 2 version 2. Okay. Most viewers know the Alpha Wi Fi Camp Pro 2 is compatible with all Wi Fi enabled devices such as smartphones, tablets, computers, but how exactly do they set it up? So setup is actually pretty straightforward, but uh, our customers should never hesitate to contact us if they need any technical support. We do offer both phone and email technical support solutions. But what you're going to do is you're going to take this device, which is the Alpha Tube. This goes on the outside of the RV or the structure to which you're installing. Uh, this is the antenna. They simply screw on together like this. And um, for purposes of brevity, I'm not going to do a full setup here uh, for this video, but essentially once you have it screwed on inside your kit, you'll have some waterproof tape that you can run around this connector point here that keeps moisture from getting inside at the connector point. So you'll get that to go on the outside. It's got a wire tie loop system, which is explained in the instructions that allow you to pull mount it, uh, mount it to a ladder or something like that. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to get the USB cable. Now this is 24 feet long, so you get a good length here. Um, the, this bottom part comes off, uh, just unscrews, which again, I'm not going to take all the way off for purposes of brevity, but you'll put the uh, USB female connector, you're going to thread it up through, you'll remove this gray cap here, thread the cable in there, right into the connector in there, and then the other end of this cable is going to come down, you'll run it into your RV or into your building, and you're going to connect that uh, into the port here um, on the router. So I got it upside down here. So that'll be plugged into the router like that. Now, don't forget to connect your little aerial to the back of the router. That's going to go there like that. And then you've got two power supplies inside the Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 version 2. You've got your standard AC wall power plug, and you've got a 12-volt plug as well. So you're going to get your equipment all hooked up, and then when you power on the router, this is actually going to send out a Wi-Fi signal called Wi-Fi Camp Pro. So your devices, you're going to uh, you're going to connect to that signal. You're going to connect your computer or your tablet to the Wi-Fi Camp Pro signal, and then you can follow the instructions that are included in your kit uh, to see how to do the software setup. That's basically where you're using a, a web browser to pick out the Wi-Fi network you want to extend, input the password for it, etc. Now that information is going to be inside your Camp Pro kit instructions. We also have a setup video that's coming up on our screen right now. Uh, you can go there and watch it on YouTube. That'll show you basically a screencast of how to get that setup complete. Do they have to use a computer or tablet, or can setup be done with a smart TV or a cell phone? Uh, it's another great question. So we strongly recommend using a computer or a tablet for a couple of reasons. 
Um, with the computer, the tablet, you get a little bit more screen size, a little bit screen area, so it's a little bit easier to read some of the options and things of that nature. Uh, you can do the setup with a cell phone if you have to, but some of the cell phones, they use this quote unquote smart technology, or if they don't detect an internet connection over the Wi-Fi right away, they'll put you back on the 4G, and that can just make it a little bit trickier to do the setup, a couple of extra steps. So while you definitely can do it with a cell phone, we recommend a computer or laptop, it's gonna be a little, uh, computer or tablet, it's gonna be a little bit more seamless. A smart TV, you cannot do the setup on a smart TV. Now, smart TVs are compatible with the Camp Pro system. You'll definitely be able to boost reception to your smart TV, get faster streaming speeds and all that. But the reason you can't do the setup um, on an actual smart TV is because the setup requires a standard web browser. That would be like Google Chrome, uh, Safari if you're using a Mac, Microsoft Edge. And the smart TVs don't have a standardized web browser, so you just can't do the setup on them, that's all. That sounds easy enough. Is there anything else users need to know about setup? There are two things I can think of that I'd like to point out. The first is when you get your kit, you unwrap it, it just came from FedEx or whatever carrier you use, you're excited to use it. A lot of users will just kind of unbox everything on their desk, plug it all in, and go into a speed test. And if you do that, what you may find is that your speed is not as fast as your computer's connection directly to your home Wi-Fi network. Well, why is that? Well, your computer's already getting 100% signal to your home network. It's already getting an optimal uh, signal strength, so there's nothing that Camp Pro can boost. What you're actually doing in that scenario is you're routing the data through an unnecessary detour, so that's gonna slow it and down a little bit. What also slows it down when you do that kind of test is when you have the router and your antenna and all that, and the antenna's laying down, down, uh, that creates a lot of interference right there that slows down the throughput speed as well. And it should be noted that this antenna works a little bit differently than the one inside your computer. The one inside your computer kind of has a receive path that's more spherical almost. It just doesn't go out as far. The one uh, that works from the Camp Pro, it's more like an angle going out like this. It's more concentrated. It goes out 360 degrees, uh, but it's designed to go far. So if you have it like laying down on a table or laying up against the wall or something, your receive path is like this. It's not even going to really cover your home router that well. So we recommend when you're unboxing it to try to do a real world test to see what the performance is like. If you want to do one inside your home, try to get this at least eight feet away from the router um, and a little bit higher up in the air. Uh, the other thing that I want to point out is when you go to a campground, if the campground has slow speed to begin with, that means you have a five bar connection on your phone or your computer, the Camp Pro can't make it faster. Uh, what the Camp Pro does is if you get a good signal at an RV park, say you're standing near the clubhouse, you're getting a full five bars on your phone and everything's fast, but then you walk back over here to your camper and it slows down because the signal got weak, the Camp Pro strengthens that signal and makes it a little bit faster like if you were closer to the hot spot. But if you can stand next to the campgrounds access points or up in the clubhouse or something like that and you're getting a five bar connection on your computer but the speeds are extremely slow, there's nothing the Camp Pro can do. It can't make that signal any stronger. It's already strong. The problem is that your network is over capacity. And an analogy I like to use there is if you're stuck in traffic on your commute every day because it's bumper to bumper traffic, you wouldn't go buy a faster sports car because it's not going to get you anywhere faster. The same holds true with the Camp Pro. This device is built for range extension. It strengthens your signal and it makes it faster if the reason your speed is slow is because your signal is getting weaker. But again, if your signal's strong already, the Camp Pro is not going to be able to help in that environment. But because it can help in so many environments, regardless of your situation right now, we strongly recommend this if you're an RVer, if you're a traveler, you'll find in many locations you go that you get some very good signal boost and performance improvement from using the Alpha Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 version 2.